So before we start the video, y'all, make sure y'all go check out my man, Elijah from ATL. His beats are sick. His instrumentals are insane, y'all. And he's growing, and I want to see him grow. I just want to see him, you know, blow up and stuff. So I'm going to be putting his beats on my videos every now and then, more often. And they're real, real good, y'all. I'm telling y'all. So make sure y'all check him out if y'all see some, you know, some instrumentals in the background. That's most likely his. So, of course, all his socials will be in the description. Yo, what is up, everybody, man? And today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to slay Erska, man. Now, Erska is very, very insane. He, like, this behemoth runs a lot. And moves a lot, very, very mobile. And it's hard to break parts and stuff, but once you get his moves down packed, you can you can slay him. You can slay him. So I'm gonna show y'all like, what moves to watch out for and just the fight itself, you know. But you know, here's my my talents right here, man. So I actually replace I uh, replace never bothered me with aspect of the mender because. You know, I'm not dealing with 50% extra frostbite for this fight. But yeah, guys. Let us get right into the fight. Now, guys. As we move on to Slay Erska. There's some things I want to point out. Now, Erska is very mobile. Like I said in the beginning of the year. They, this beam is very mobile. So, make sure. Make sure. You avoid every single attack because it can be one hits. It really can. It can be one hits and it's very, very, they're, they're strong hits. They're really strong hits. If you have Iceborne, you're fine. But as y'all can see, there's two, two, um, brazers right here. Two brazers so you can heat yourself up if you need to. Make sure you have cleansing pylons. And let's get into this fight. I'm going to be commentating this whole fight. It's going to be a little easier, but yep, you see that? Watch out for that. Watch out for that attack right there. And he sticks his tail out and sometimes can hit you. This right here can freeze you. That attack right there. And then he goes up and he either throws ice. He either slams or, yep, you see, he throws ice or he just runs out. Just like that. Now, I am the Avatar of Destruction, so I'm doing a lot of crit. This build is made for crit. I'm gonna show y'all this build. This build will break the freaking like escalation, man. Cause I constantly get and right there, you see, I just got hit. I just got hit. It did a lot of damage. Watch out for that. But as y'all can see, I do a lot of damage, and I can do 10k minimum. 10k minimum, a lot of the times. Not every time, because you know, it's not every time with Reaper like uh, times 10 Reaper's Dance. But it's definitely a lot. As you can see, 18k, y'all. I'm going to show y'all this build. In fact, I'm going to put it in the description. But I'm going to make a separate video for it, though. For the whole escalation. I'm going to make two builds for it. Two builds on that one video. So you want to watch out for this. You want to boom. You want to dodge that attack. So make sure you get away from it. You can dodge it anywhere. But it's the best to look at where the, the rumbles come from. And then dodge it from there. And guys, that right there is Erska, man. There's obviously more moves, but I slayed him pretty fast. So, yeah, just make sure you watch out for a lot of those moves. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did not, like, I got level 25 on this with people. Because at first, you know, it was hard. It was hard because it was probably the hardest escalation. At first, at least at first, it's the hardest escalation. Did any other escalation and yeah it's way easier with people that know uh their avatars know what they're doing because you have a stagger that stagger boom constant staggers because it, it's really easy to get staggers if you really get into your groove it's really easy to get staggers um and of course if you have a crit person that crit person is going to go crazy because avatar destruction is amazing it's really amazing and every single avatar has its purpose, and each and every one is just as good as the other. Of course, wounding, wounding, boom. You get a lot of wounds, and you get, you know, extra damage for wounds. 
and boom frostbite goes down and unity you get that's a support build that you unity i've been using a few times and it's really really good man it's it's like it's honestly all around it's really all around all around support all around you know damage it's pretty pretty amazing but yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope y'all enjoyed you know i got i got mad like i got builds already built ready to you know test out and send out videos for it and record so i'm about to go get into the lab and you know start recording i got i gotta you know grind for you i gotta make these videos because this escalation is my my favorite there's so much you can do with it so i'm gonna make a lot of builds for each every avatar and we're about to go stupid go crazy let's go y'all